Mr. Tinley. Good God, how came you here? I was on my way up from the stables. And may I ask how you came here? I have been to see your mother's room. My mother's room? What is so extraordinary to be seen here? Why no? Nothing. I didn't think you would return until tomorrow. I did not expect to be able to return sooner when I went away. But three hours ago, I had the pleasure to find that nothing detained me. As there is nothing interesting in the room itself, your curiosity must have arisen from Eleanor's description of my mother's character. Eleanor, I suppose, has talked about her a great deal? Yes, a great deal. That is, no, not much. But what she did say was very interesting. Her dying so suddenly, and you, none of you being at home, and, well, your father. I didn't think he was too fond of her, you see. And from these circumstances, you infer, perhaps, the probability of some negligence, or maybe of something more sinister. My mother's illness was sudden, but its cause was constitutional. My brother and I were at home, and I assure you, she received every possible attention. But was your father afflicted? For a time, greatly so. You have erred in supposing him not attached to her. He loved her, I am persuaded, as well as it was possible. I'm very glad of it. It would have been shocking. Miss Moreland, if I understand you correctly, you are accusing my father of murdering my mother. Miss Marland, it seems that you have proven that it is possible to read too many novels. Baby's black balloon.